Hey everyone, this is Ben with Type Me. Today during the 313, we're talking about how to switch between two different smart devices while using the Dexcom G6. Now during the 313, you're gonna get three facts, one suggestion in just three minutes, so let's go. Round one. Before you buy, you should make sure to check your device compatibility. In order to do so, go to this link. Select country and then language and then click confirm. Click search by devices, select your platform, whether it be iOS or Android. Look for the manufacturer, select the device, and then click check for compatibility and you're all set. Round two. Now you're gonna have to stop your current sensor session on your old phone, but not on your transmitter. Now this can be extremely frustrated, especially if you just started a new 10 day sensor. So try to do the switch over accordingly. If your phone is already sitting at the bottom of a toilet, you can skip this step. Just know that once you've downloaded the Dexcom app on your phone and log in, it's gonna ask you to set up a new sensor regardless. Fortunately, it will allow you to reuse your transmitter. So just put in the new QR code or the number when it prompted to. Round three. Once you've installed the new version of the Dexcom G6 and Clarity apps, you will notice that the recent glucose trending information will be or appear to be lost. Glucose history and trends will not show up on your new device, but they can carry over uninterrupted on your Dexcom Clarity app. It's important to note that Clarity receives smartphone data automatically from the cloud and displayed in Clarity every three hours. After this information has been uploaded to the Clarity Cloud, the information should never be lost, but will always have a three hour lag. Suggestions, yes, I recently upgraded my smartphone device and kind of jumped into this process blindly. I actually purchased a new phone with a two year agreement and didn't even check to see whether or not the device would be compatible with G6. But thank God that it did and thank God that the process was pretty seamless. I did however end up having to switch out of my G6 sensor just four days into its use. And as a YouTuber, creator, influencer, whatever you want to call it, it's totally within my cosmic power to suggest Dexcom make this process more seamless, but that would just be petty. 